welcome to the short clip from Play and Learn. I brought my friend back with me today. Do you remember what my friend's name is? Hmm, starts with an M. Did you say Morgan? This is Morgan. Morgan was with me last week when we talked about letters. Today, we're going to talk about letters, but we're going to talk about letters that make up names. What's your name? Oh, that's a really nice name. Well, my name is Miss Kim. If you cover up the Miss, my name is just Kim. It only has three letters. K I M Kim But some names have a lot of letters and some names are really long Would you like to hear a song about a name that is really long Okay Ready to sing this is going to be fun. Jacob Jingleheimerschmidt, his name is my name too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, there goes John Jacob Jingleheimerschmidt. Na 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 na. Woo! That's a long name. We have a number of fun activities to help you write your name. Sidewalk chalk is always fun to write your name outside. Or if you come across some rocks outside, you can use the rocks to form the letters of your name. Play-Doh is always fun. You can use stamps to stamp the letters or shape the letters from Play-Doh. You may also try some magnet letters on your refrigerator or a metal pan. Or if your mom is getting ready to bake something, ask to write your name in the flower. I would like to show you some flowers today. Aren't these beautiful? I think this flower right here, it looks like a little lily. Do you know anyone named Lily? Lily. I know some people named Lily. It would be kind of cool to be named after a flower. Maybe Rose or Daisy. Do you know what kind of flower this is? I believe it's a chrysanthemum. What if your name was Chrysanthemum. Wow! That name has a lot of letters. We're going to read a story about Chrysanthemum in just a moment. Today we're going to read the book Chrysanthemum. The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' lives. She's perfect, said her mother. Absolutely, said her father. And she was. She was absolutely perfect. Her name must be everything she is, said her mother. Her name must be absolutely perfect, said her father. And it was. Chrysanthemum. Her parents named her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew. And when she was old enough to appreciate it, Chrysanthemum loved her name. She loved the way it sounded when her mother woke her up. She loved the way it sounded when her father called her for dinner. And she loved the way it sounded when she whispered, it to herself in the bathroom mirror. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, 
Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum loved the way her name looked when it was written with ink on an envelope. She loved the way it looked when it was written with icing on her birthday cake. And she loved the way it looked when she wrote it herself with her fat orange crayon. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum thought her name was absolutely perfect. And then she started school. On the first day, Chrysanthemum wore her sunniest dress and her brightest smile. She ran all the way. Hooray, said Chrysanthemum, school. But when Mistress Chud took the roll call, everyone giggled upon hearing Chrysanthemum's name. It's so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits your name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. You're named after a flower. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. Why do you think that Chrysanthemum changed her mind about her name? Hmm. The rest of the day was not much better. During that time, Victoria raised her hand and informed Miss Chud that Chrysanthemum's name was spelled with 13 letters. That's exactly half as many letters as there are in the entire alphabet, Victoria exclaimed. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mr. Shudd. Now, put your head down. If I had a name like yours, I'd change it, Victoria said, as the students lined up to go home. I wish I could, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. Do you know what miserably means? That means you are just really sad and uncomfortable. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. My name is too long. It scarcely fits on my name tag and I'm named after a flower. Oh, psh, said her mother. Your name is beautiful and precious and priceless and fascinating and winsome, said her father. It's everything you are, said her mother. Absolutely perfect said her father. Chrysanthemum felt much better after her favorite dinner, macaroni and cheese with ketchup. I like to eat macaroni and cheese and ketchup too. And an evening filled with hugs and kisses and cheesy. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed of her name and that it was changed to Jane. It was an extremely pleasant dream. The next morning, Chrysanthemum wore her most comfortable jumper. She walked to school as slowly as she could. She dragged her feet in the dirt. Chrysanthemum, 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 she wrote. She even looks like a flower, said Victoria, as Chrysanthemum entered the playground. Let's pick her, said Rita, pointing. Let's smell her, said Joe. Chrysanthemum wilted. Do you know what it means when a flower wilts? It's like when they need water and they just get all droopy. 
What do you think it means when chrysanthemum wilts? She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and said, A chrysanthemum is a flower. It lives in a garden with worms and other dirty things. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mistress Chud. Now, put your head down. I just can't believe your name, Victoria said, as the students lined up to go home. Neither can I, thought Chrysanthemum, miserably. Welcome home, said Mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. They said I even look like a flower. They pretended to pick me and smell me. Oh, psh, said her mother. They're just jealous and envious and begrudging and discontented and ju just, said her father, who wouldn't be jealous of a name like yours, said her mother. After all, it's absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum felt a trifle better after her favorite dessert, chocolate cake with buttercream frosting, and another evening filled with hugs and kisses and parchisi. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she really was a chrysanthemum. She sprouted leaves and petals Victoria picked her and plucked the leaves and petals one by one until there was nothing left but a scrawny stem. It was the worst nightmare of Chrysanthemum's life. Chrysanthemum wore her outfit seven pockets with seven pockets the next morning. She loaded the pockets with her most prized possession and her good luck charms. Chrysanthemum took the longest route possible to school. She stopped and stared at each and every flower. Chrysanthemum, 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 the flowers seemed to say. That morning, the students were introduced to Mistress Twinkle, the music teacher. Her voice was like something out of a dream, as was everything else about her. The students were speechless. They thought Mrs. Trinkle was as indescribable wonder. They went out of their way to make a nice impression. Mrs. Trinkle led the students in scales. Then she assigned roles for the class musical. Victoria was chosen as the dainty flower cream. Rita was chosen as Spiffy Butterfly Princess. Joe was chosen as the all-important Pixie Messenger. And Chrysanthemum was chosen as a daisy. Chrysanthemum's a daisy? Chrysanthemum's a daisy. Joe, Rita, and Victoria chanted, thinking that it was wildly funny. Why do you think they thought that was so funny? Maybe because both a daisy and a chrysanthemum are flowers? Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. <sighs> What's so humorous? Asked Mrs. Trinkle. Chrysanthemum was the answer. Her name is so long, said Joe. It scared sleep fits on her name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. She's named after a flower. My name is long, said Mistress Twinkle. It is, said Joe. My name would scarcely fit on a name tag, said Mistress Twinkle. It would, said Rita, pointing. And, said Mrs. Twinkle, I'm named after a flower, too. You are? said Victoria. 
Yes, said Mrs. Twinkle. My name is Dephilium, Dephilium Twinkle. And if my baby is a girl, I'm considering chrysanthemum as a name. I think it's absolutely perfect. Chrysanthemum could scarcely believe her ears. She blushed, she beamed, she bloomed. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Joe, Rita, and Victoria looked at chrysanthemum longingly. Call me marigold. Did you know that's a type of flower? <laughs> said Joe. I'm a carnation, said Rita, pointing. My, my name is Lily of the Valley, said Victoria. Chrysanthemum did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She knew it. Overall, the class musical was a huge success. Chrysanthemum was absolutely perfect as a daisy. Victoria made the only one mistake. She completely forgot her lines as the dainty fairy queen. Chrysanthemum thought it was wildly funny and she giggled throughout the entire dance of the flower. Eventually, Mrs. Twinkle gave birth to a healthy baby girl, and of course, she named her Chrysanthemum. That's the end. I think it's a nice name. And you know what? I bet you have a nice name as well. We're gonna be back in just a second to say goodbye. I'm so glad that you joined us for the short clip from Play and Learn today. I wanna show you a book that's gonna be coming up later this week on Good Night Dolly. It's called Violet the Pilot. Violet the Pilot. That kind of sounds alike, doesn't it? Well, that's her name and it's her title. I thought it would be fun if you wrote your title, like mine is Miss Kim, you could be Garrett the Great or Lily the Lovable. You could write it and send me a picture so I could see your name. And we could do a name picture parade. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Well, I hope to hear from you. 